everybody, it's Galax and here. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember that you guys uh, should uh, patron us on Patreon or join our Discord server. So we are talking about Raven's fate today. Now, I am not of the camp that Raven is going to die anytime soon, but this is more whether or not she will lose uh, the fight, I suppose, and um, whether she will live and stuff like that. So this is basically our prediction for how the fight will turn out. To be honest, I am really of the opinion that um, Raven is gonna throw Cinder through a portal and she's just gonna go back upstairs, like, to end the fight. Like, Raven's gonna be like, I don't have time to fight you anymore and just, like, uh, send her through and there you go. That's, that's, that's the end of that. Um, and so I feel like that's kind of where we're going, but here's some options, okay? So, Raven beats Cinder and lives. Cinder beats Raven and she dies. Cinder beats Raven, but Raven still lives. Or, Cinder beats Raven and Cinder, wait, Raven beats Cinder and Cinder dies. Yes? Yes. Do you, do you know what I just said? You just went through all the different options. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you asking me if I'm paying attention? Will no, not that you're paying after this? <laughs> Anyways. Do I have to write this down for the exam? So, so Is it going to be cumulative? Anyway. Let's go for the first one. So, Raven wins the fight. Um, and then Cinder dies. I don't think that Cinder's gonna die this volume, if I'm perfectly honest. Like, I'm pretty sure that she still has a- like, Jessica Negri allegedly has a contract for eight seasons. So, I don't think that she's gonna die right now. So, I think that this is- like, I don't wanna- I don't wanna say anything's impossible, because I don't think anything is ever impossible, but at the same time, plot-wise, I don't think we're done with Cinder yet. And the fall may- well, that's kind of what I'd want to talk about in the Cinder's fate, um, video. Um, so we'll just focus on Raven right now, but that will make Raven live. So I think that regardless of the chances of Cinder's death, I'm pretty sure the chances of Raven living are pretty high, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so the more, like, viable option is, uh, Raven wins the fight or Raven loses the fight, uh, but Cinder, uh, Cinder still lives either way, um, if that makes sense. And so, either, like, basically that Raven wins the fight and then, uh, sends, like, basically sends Cinder through the portal, Cinder is still alive but basically loses, or it's that, uh, Cinder is able to best Raven but Raven leaves through the portal and gets the fuck out and Cinder chases her back upstairs and Raven is finally like, hey Crow, uh, you wanna gonna help me like I'll cut through Hazel if you'll help me out down there cuz uh this little girl's got a grim arm you know what I mean so that's two possibilities is that again Raven loses or er, uh, Raven loses and then goes through the portal goes back upstairs and is like listen okay um, like Vernal and Raven are still fighting downstairs uh, but uh, we're having a little bit of a difficulty uh, so if you guys would like to help us, that would be nice. Uh, you know what I mean? And so, uh, she could always, uh, do that. Cinder's in the basement! Let's get the fuck out of here! Yeah. Um, because I don't think- because Cinder needs Raven to unlock the door still, right? And so if Raven is just like, well, I don't need to fight you, I can just fuck off and you're gonna have to come chase me around. Like, that's a perfectly sensible explanation. You know what I mean? I just thought about this, but imagine it would be really fucked up if, like, she was in some sort of situation where, like, they were gonna get uh, Vernal and, like, they don't know that Vernal's the spring maiden. And what if Raven was just like, Vernal, think of your mother's face. And she says, yes, and then she stabs her. And then it's just like, you're gonna have to look in the different spot. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I thought I that'd see. be fucked up. Anyways, continue. <laughs> anyway, um, and so there, there's always that. Um... I think that there's also, like, just, again, Raven wins the fight, she sends Cinder through a portal, Cinder gets back upstairs and has to kind of deal with Ruby and them, Raven gets the relic, she fucks off, goes home, and that's the end. I think that that's pretty much the most possible explanation, I think that's pretty much what is going to happen. So again, to reiterate, uh, Cinder will win the fight, uh, er, uh, Raven will win the fight and send Cinder through the portal, but Cinder will not die. I feel like I'm making this very confusing. Yes, that's not a new thing you do, but I digress. So you guys understand what I mean, right? So Cinder is still alive, she just gets sent away and Raven, uh, basically wins. Um, and so I feel like that- again, I feel like Raven being alive is the most possible- or I shouldn't say the most possible, but is the most likely, because all of these are possible to an extent. Now, 
let's kind of get away from that and talk about just Raven dying. Because even though I don't think it's gonna happen, we have to cover it. So, here's the other possibility. So, Raven gets the maiden power sucked out of her and she dies. Okay. Uh, Cinder kills uh, Raven accidentally without the maiden powers. And here is where things get a little tricky. So, a lot of people want... And I agree with this because I think it's a good idea, but not right now. So, people want... Raven, or Cinder to kill Raven, but without sucking out her powers, and then they go to Yang, because Yang is the, intentionally, the last person that Raven is thinking of. So she does it on purpose as her last sort of cunning trick, is that she gives them over to Yang. And so, I really like this idea. I think that this is something that is going to happen in the future, or is possible to happen in the future, but as for right now, like I said, I don't think that Raven dying really serves the plot very well and i think that it doesn't I feel like something like work. that you could because i feel like one of the things lost if you do kill raven is that you lose so much of her mystery and like what she was like but i almost feel like it'd be interesting if she does die and then vernal becomes an important part of well, the vernal's class. dead <laughs> well if she if vernal survives but raven dies mm -hmm. that, i don't that, see vernal surviving though but That's just, problem. Say, just hypothetically listen right there's been a lot of impaling like if vernal he actually got the maiden powers like last minute do or not mean? that she got, or that Yang got it, but then uh, Vernal then becomes afterwards, like, an important part of the cast. I think, though, like, I understand what you're saying, but I feel that, like that, that just we'd, lower we'd, as a possibility, because Vernal okay, is dead. Yeah, lower as a possibility, but I'm just saying, if that were to happen, you could still get, you know, Raven's... You get to learn more about Raven, because you get to hear about her posthumously from someone who lived I with guess. her and cared about her. I just, her. I don't like that one either. Like, I mean, I like it better than her just dying and nothing happening, but... I think that, like, it's best for the plot if Raven survives, just because... So, everyone else watching this hasn't been forced to read one of Cal's novels. I have, and so I know that you have a hard-on for character death. Yeah. And I don't think that Ruby has the same hard-on. I don't know if they're really gonna kill Raven. Because I don't want them to kill Cinder either, but I think that the fight doesn't need to end in death. Like, obviously yes. for Cinder, it has to end in death if she gets the maiden powers, but that doesn't mean it has to objectively end in death, if you guys understand what I'm kind of saying there, is that, yeah, for Cinder that's the end goal, but that doesn't mean she has to reach it. Like, she can still quote-unquote beat Raven, but Raven can just leave, depending on how, like, hurt Raven is at that time. Like, she can just open a portal and be like, bah, bitch. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay. Um, and so in terms of likeliness of everything we already stated, like, or in terms of, I guess, what I think is gonna happen, because they're all pretty likely, I personally think that Raven is gonna win and just take the relic. Like, I don't think that there's... I, I think that is at least what should then happen. what would that allow for the rest of the plot, then? Because like, I... Would... Here's the thing. People want Raven to die because it would further Cinder's plot, but I feel like what would actually further Cinder's development is getting an I told you so uh, from Watts and actually disappointing Salem. Because if you guys remember, and we'll talk about this more in uh, the Cinder Fate video, but Watts was like, how about you don't do this because it's a fucking bad idea? And then they were like, no, fuck you, I'll do what I want. And so if Cinder now goes home with no relic and no Spring Maiden powers, and Watts is like, see, I told you that this girl would be a colossal failure, and I warned her about doing such things, or whatever he sounds like, I don't remember. So I feel like that would further Cinder's character development. Cinder getting everything that she wants doesn't further her character development at all. It just, we're back in the same place where we were before, but she just has more power. You I'm know sorry, what I mean? I'm really enjoying what I'm doing in the game right now. Yeah, no, I, 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 I see that as well. And we were kind of talking about this in the Discord because there have been some people that are like, no, Cinder must win. Cinder is going to kill Raven and get the powers and, because that's the only way for the plot to continue. But I don't think that that's true. Like, I feel like that that would hinder, if anything, like the character development, even if it would further the plot uh, to some extent. And I think that here's where I see the plot being is that say even our other option happens that Raven loses the fight against Cinder but is still able to get the relic and teleport upstairs. That means that we now sort of have a choice that Raven is going to join the quote-unquote good guys because that's the only way she can survive, or, um, you know, she runs off by herself, and I feel like that is something that would push the plot along, depending on how this ends. Then they have like, to chase her down? If not necessarily chase her down, but what if she now decides to willingly work with them again and she does kind of integrate into the main cast? 
and that Maybe. is where we kind of end things. That Raven will be like, I still don't like you guys, but I'll help for a quick minute because this is a transaction now. If you guys help me, I'll help you. And I feel like that does help further the plot. And that does give something, if they do move on to go to Atlas, that does give something again for them to chase because they then have to get the Atlas Reddick, they have to find the Atlas Maiden, uh, but they also still need to protect Raven and all that. Like, I don't feel like the Raven plotline ends here, like, with her death. I feel like it could go into the other volumes and that wouldn't be a problem. Because, like, what a lot of people are saying right now is it doesn't make sense to keep her alive past Volume 5, but I disagree. Like, I think that Raven? it would still work, yeah. No, I think it would make sense to keep her alive still. Because people are like, well, like, she doesn't serve anything to the plot after that or whatever. I mean, she doesn't I fit feel... well into the plot, but I feel like she fits fine. Like, she's just become sort of an, like, a, uh, a side piece. It's not a side piece, but, like, she becomes, like almost a like crow um, to an extent. And she does finally sort of uh, give in uh, to being on on Ozpin's side at least uh, for a hot minute, you know what I mean? And I feel like that would build like a lot of tension because Raven doesn't really want to work with Ozpin. She doesn't want to do that again, but at that current moment when the school is falling, she has no choice. And then after that, she may try to fuck off somewhere, but Yang's gonna be like, well, where do you think you're going? And then, you know, it kind of happens from there. Like, I feel like there's so many interesting things they could do with her um, or even her just giving, like, the relic to Ozpin and then fucking off and being like, see you later, guys, and then Crow's just like, no, you wouldn't give that willingly unless you have a reason. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, something like that, like, that would move the plot along. I feel like that's super interesting. Um, in I, terms of the plot. I like, I don't see why Raven dying is the only way to make the plot progress. I almost, like, it makes like... Cinder's story progress, but then she doesn't get proper character development, because I feel like the proper character development right now is for Salem to be disappointed in her, um, because she didn't, like, listen to anything that, uh, was suggested to her. Uh, she didn't listen to Watson, didn't listen to anyone. Like, that is how to make her character progress, but the thing is, is that I think some people don't want Cinder to progress. She, they want Cinder to win, and I feel like that's different. Like, Cinder has to make mistakes to develop as a character, in my opinion, and so I feel like that when people are like, well, no, like, she has to win or the plot won't survive, like, they're basically saying that Cinder has to win because they want her to, because Cinder really doesn't, like, Cinder not winning is more interesting than Cinder winning, because Cinder has already won before, we've already seen that, like, what, like, that doesn't give us anything new, but Cinder losing, like, Cinder actually being shamed by Salem, like, that's interesting, that's something that we haven't seen before. Like, would you agree? Yeah, although we kind of have seen her being shamed before. I mean, not she, really, because when, then when Salem she was, was burning that thing of Ruby, and when Kieran was around, it's like I thought you were supposed to be the girl who wanted everything. I mean, you're right. I think that would be more interesting. But then, like Salem has always supported her, and so that's what I mean. Because obviously, Watts and Tyrion are kind of like shitting on her most of the time. But then Cinder's like, no, that's enough. Like, or Salem's like, like, no, that's it's enough, boys. Tyr like, she's I'm my favorite child. Watts, really. You know what I mean? Like, and then what if she's just not the favorite anymore? You know what I mean? Like, Maybe that's that interesting. Could be interesting. Because also... Watts has always shit on her. But now it's about Salem, right? And so that's what I'm kind of saying here, I also Hunter. feel like there's something to be said that maybe Raven does get the relic, and then they have to find the relic from her and her band. Yeah, um, and then they can go to Alice, you know? Like, let's spend a bit more time in maybe, Mistral first. Maybe they, yeah, so I, I feel like that could work. Yeah, an and option. I feel like that's fine, and I feel like, I, I do really like the idea of Raven just giving over the relic to Crow, and then Crow being like, you wouldn't do that unless you have the reason, like, what's wrong with you? And then them kind of, I don't want to say them having a family moment, because I feel like, uh, that Sailor, or Cinder, bah, I feel like that Raven still isn't into that, but I want to see them at least temporarily work as a team, and for, uh, you know, for them to finally have sort of a brother-sister moment where they know, like, almost like twin, twin elf. T telepathy, but it's the twin out uh, twin, twin apple twin telepathy. Yeah, twin t telepathy, I guess. Um, but there's were like a merger make, of that were word. Were you trying to make a compound word twin up? Twinlepathy? Yeah, twinlepathy. Okay. That's what I've heard it called before. And so that crow knows immediately that something's wrong, and he's like, "Listen, sis, you don't have to tell us, but uh, maybe you should, uh, maybe you should come with us." Like, I feel like that would be great development for Raven's character as well if she finally starts to trust within her family again. 
like to trust crow and all that even if she doesn't trust ozpin and so like there's a lot of possibilities to do with her character i just i just like and i know that i'm gonna get those people again on this video that are like no like raven should die because cinder is my waifu and i love her and i want her to win like i don't know why i get so many like i don't know what weirdos that i attract sometimes um, but the weirdos anyway. who would watch inane videos like the one we make. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm not trying to say that if you want Cinder like to live and kill Raven that you're one of those people. I'm saying that I haven't yet seen a justifiable reason from anyone, and so I hope that during the Cinder's Fate video or on this video, if I can get a good reason, like, I'll agree with you, but, like, from a writing- from a writing perspective, like, I can't find a- good reason for just killing Cinder now. Like, it's not like killing Weiss for that had a lot of impact and Weiss had unfinished business and so it really hurt. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it would be sort of, like, half-assed, um, if they just killed her now. But again, we have to just kind of see what happens. They may do it in a good way that I didn't even think of. Like, Hunter and I aren't, like, ruby gods or, ever or anything. Like, we don't know everything. As much as some of us like to pretend we are. <laughs> um... And so, like, y'all may have some good good ideas, and I want to hear them, um, but, yeah, I'm sure there's somebody that can think of a justifiable reason for Raven dying right now. It's just that in, like, for the past, like, week or so, I haven't been able to find one, uh, I, I guess. And so, anyway, guys, I, uh, hope to see you guys later, and I guess we'll talk about, uh, Cinder more and her fate in the, uh, in the Cinder video. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed, and we will see you later. Bye-bye!